I'm joined here at GCN by Phil White, co-founder of Cervelo, which makes some of the top-end bikes which Garmin Sharp use amongst other riders. Phil, you've got a lot of knowledge in terms of frame design for the people getting into the sport who can't see the difference between a £500 or $500 carbon frame and one of the top-end models. What is the design that goes into them and what is the difference between those price ranges? Yeah, well, the neat thing about carbon is it allows you to tailor it and you can use different types of carbon in different areas of the frame. So materials like uh, aluminum and steel are much easier to actually design with because they're basically continuous. They're, they've got continuous properties throughout. They're the same in twisting. They're the same when you pull on them. They're the same when you push on them. Carbon is different in each of those. And you have different levels of carbon. So you can have stiffer carbon or stronger carbon. The problem is you can't have stiff carbon and strong carbon. So it allows you to, or forces you to tailor it for what is the, each area of the frame. For instance, if you're, if you're uh, looking at the frame, the area behind the head tube, you want that to be really strong and actually a little bit flexible. So if you hit a bollard or a curb or something like that, it actually absorbs the impact and doesn't crack the frame. At the same time, you want your bottom bracket to be really stiff so it doesn't flex back and forth. So anything that you're, when you push on the pedal, all your effort goes into propelling the bike ahead and nothing that's wasted flexing it. So you want different things in different areas. In some areas you need high strength, like behind that on the bottom of the down tube, and sometimes you want high stiffness for descending so the bike tracks really nicely, and also so you get lots of power transmission. So you have your choice of different carbons. And I'll show you what kind of carbon looks like I brought along this spool. That's how you actually buy carbon. It's actually a big spool, just like you'd actually buy uh, for fabric making. And then they'll lay this onto a machine that actually puts all the pieces next to each other and you end up with a sheet. But basically that's what carbon looks like. That's about 3,000 strands right there of carbon fiber. Each are quite a bit much smaller than the diameter of your hair. So this is a higher strength carbon. So if you really pull on it, you got to really pull hard to break it. And you look at it and it's actually not that stiff. At the same time, you can have high stiffness carbon or high modulus carbon. It's actually quite a bit stiffer, but it's also not as strong. So you have a choice. You can have stiffness or strength, but you can't have both. So that's going to be a selection of the engineer to optimize it for what's needed where in the frame. Then you complicate that, because now you've got your choice of materials. But you also want to have the layup. What angle do you put it at? Because different angles are really optimized for the different types of loading. I've got two pieces of carbon here They look exactly the same. Same thickness, same material, same width, same everything. The only difference is one's got the material at plus or minus 45, so it's like this if you go up here, and one's running all at zero degrees like this. So on this one, you'll see it's really stiff in this direction, but it's actually pretty flexible when you're twisting it. This one, on the other hand, it's actually really flexible when you're bending it, but really stiff when you're twisting it. So this is the one, this one that's really stiff when you're twisting it, that's the plus and minus 45. That's the fibers are all in this angle. This one that's really stiff and bending, all the fibers are in this direction, the zero direction as we call it. So as an engineer, you've really got to know what's happening in which area of the bike to, to select your carbon fiber angles or the layup to optimize it for what's happening in each different area of the bike. So carbon fiber has opened up a huge opportunity to the engineer and the designer, but you have to know what material you need in what area, which is depending on what's happening in what area, and then how to lay it up in that area. Then screw in your Shimano bleed pot, just lightly by hand, making sure that you don't over tighten it. Going down to the caliper now, take off the dust